Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. As I promised you on my last Premier League Prediction video, this will be coming up today. So here it is. Um, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-shirt Company. They sell my merch. The link for my merch is down in the description below. So go feel free to check out after watching this video. Um, there's a few surprises um, I'm going to say for this previous weekend and it might just take you know a few of my predictions away of the world's gonna call them before this weekend took place but it happens anyway so there's no real difference there um, but anyway guys you know what I do so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we're going to talk about is Aston Villa versus Watford let's go over to the results first um, Aston Villa Drawing 1 1 away with Brighton over Albion. Um, great point for Villa. Um, I have watched the highlights of that game and I think that Villa could have possibly got the three as well. Um, Taylor won Jack Greenish across the goal, and you know, I think even on the other end of that, Brighton probably be on it with a point considering it could have gone the other way so quickly. Um, Watford nil nil at home to Tottenham. Um, Tottenham millimeters away from stealing uh, the three points. Uh, thanks to goal line technology, not all the ball rolled over the line, so it's a point of piece to have as well. And going forward, Villa are in 18th position, 22 points, uh, one two at the last five. Lost the other two and drawn one, which is obviously the Brighton game. Um, Watford are a much more uh, stable team in their last five, drawing two, winning three, losing none. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Watford win. My next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Brighton. Um, just as you brought up Brighton, drawing 1 1 at home to Aston Villa. Um, I think um, from a neutral perspective, Brighton are lucky to get the point. Um, as a Brighton fan, uh, it's the first time I'm actually going to say this, I'm quite disappointed. Um, but as I do these videos, as I've said it once or twice already, I do it from a neutral fan's perspective. So, you know. Brighton are a team that needs to get all three points from promotion clubs and that's no disrespect to the promotion clubs at all. Um, I think Brighton have only got five points um, off promotion clubs um, this season. It's not good enough. Um, Bournemouth losing one nil away to uh, Norwich. You look at this game, um, like both teams are struggling. Um, Brighton have only won one in their last five. Um, you know, 25 points, um, three points off the relegation zone. Um, Bournemouth are in the relegation zone and have not won in their last five. Um, you know, the likes of Steve Cook missing of his handball. Um, you know, so there's no first team captain. And I think this game could be an interesting one, but I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Southampton. Um, Southampton losing 3 2 at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, Crystal Palace joined 2 2 by Manchester City. Um, Southampton went 2 0 up in that game as well. Um, you know, it's got to be a disappointing day for Southampton. As I've said, you're the real fans. Tell me how you feel about your previous results. Um, but this, you know, Southampton's going to turn off against Wolverhampton. It's not easy um, getting a two-goal lead against Wolverhampton. And it just slipped near the end for uh, Southampton there. Um, Crystal Palace, 2-2 two -two against Manchester City. City went 2-1 up and uh, Fernando scored an own goal late in late in that game. Um so you know probably a good point for Palace. Um 
But I suppose this result goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Southampton win. My next one is Everton versus Newcastle. Um, Newcastle beating Chelsea 1-0 at home. Uh, that goes right at the death as well. Um, Everton drawing one one away to West Ham. Disappointing day for Everton as far as I think about that result. Um, you know, um, it was like how, how low West Ham might down in the table. Um, but fair play. Sorry. Um, to uh, West Ham for that result. Um, this game's got to be quite an interesting one, but I'm going to go for a 3 0 Everton win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Manchester City. Um, Sheffield United um, are one of them teams this, this season that have took the league by storm. Um, and when they drew 1 1 away to Arsenal, um, and also went 1 0 up in that game as well. Um, you know, fair play to Sheffield United for that one. Manchester City draw 2 2 at home to Palace. Despite Dave City, we move on. Um, but I'm going to go for a bit of a surprise on this one. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Sheffield United win. My next one is a big one. It's Chelsea versus Arsenal. Um, Arsenal drawing 1 1 at home to Sheffield United. Um, Chelsea losing 1 0 away to Newcastle. Go over to the league table for this one. Um, Chelsea only winning two at the last five, drawing one, losing the other two. Um, Arsenal winning one in that, the last five, losing one and drawing the other three. So this game's going to be quite an interesting one, but I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus West Ham. Um, Leicester at this specific time it's really hard to sum up. I mean, losing 2-1 away to Burnley this previous weekend, and West Ham drawing 1-1 at home to Everton. Um, the title away seems to be done now, 16 points clear Liverpool are. But, you know, I was disappointed with Leicester, missing the penalty, and, you know, it's all these things where you start to think, you know, it, has that really cost them? We all think so. I think so. I don't know what you're thinking. Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But I'm thinking the title race is done now and give it to Liverpool. I only need, I think it works. I think they need something like um, 13 points, something like that, to uh, get the title. Um, but yeah, I, I reckon it's all done now and Liverpool will get game in hand. Um, West. Going up against West Ham, a team that desperately needs to beat. All the pressures off the hammers. So I'm going to go for a 2-1. No, no, I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham versus Norwich. Um, Tottenham, 0-0 um, away to Watford. Um Norwich beating Bournemouth 1-0. Great three points for uh, Norwich there. Three points needed for Norwich as well. Um, calling this one, I'm going to go for a 3-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Manchester United versus Burnley. Um, let's go over the results first. Let's get some results out of the way. Burnley beating Leicester City 2-1 at home. Um, Man United losing 2-0 away to Liverpool. Um, VAR was called up for that. Um, where... Now, I, I want your opinions on this as well, if you don't mind. Um, Liverpool had a goal disallowed. Apparently fell on the keeper. This is what I'm saying about... I mean, I don't know if you remember, um, it happened to Matty Ryan a couple of months back. 
um, fell in the keeper and yet the goal stood. Um, it happened to have a game a, in a previous game against Everton Old Trafford and the goal stood. This is what I'm saying, it's not the VAR's fault. You know, it's none of this te te technical uh, stuff's fault. It's all like it's all referees. I mean, off. Can you remember the last new Premier League referee and what season it was? Because I look at the Premier League every season and hardly seen any new referees. And to me, do Premier League referees taking their jobs for granted? Um, but literally, Premier League start to wake up. Call it one way and you stick to that way no matter what the challenge is. But you can't keep doing this. Um, you're, you're ruining our game, not the VAR. Um, but going up against a very good Burnley side. Um, Burnley, you know, only won in one of their last five. And what I mean by a good Burnley side, they always do play well against Manchester United. Um, Main Island only won in throughout their last five, sitting in fifth. But only by goal difference. Um... But I'm going to call it a bit of a shock for this one, and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Burnley win. My last one for this weekend is Wolverhampton versus Liverpool. Um, Liverpool beat Man United 2 0 at home, Wolverhampton beat itself up to 3 2 away from home. Um, well, Wolves have won two out of the last five, losing the other two, drawing one. Um, you know, with the likes of Liverpool winning all five of their previous five, not losing a game yet this season, is this going to be a time they slip up? I don't think so, and I'm going to go for a comfortable 2-0 Liverpool win for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do, so I'll be proud of you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.